Mike Hughes here. I'm at Little Caymans, and I'm here with Neil. Neil, you want to tell us a little bit about the Little Caymans? Sure. Little Cayman, uh, the, the home of the very famous Bloody Bay Marine Park, mm -hmm. uh, the, one of the world's uh, only dive destinations where you can do wall diving that drops off to 6,000 feet that actually starts as shallow as 18 feet. Okay. In fact, our marine park is kind of famous because the average depth is about 25 feet. So you could you could take a wall dive at all different depths depending on your limit. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to do a deep dive. You could have a 10 year old at 40 feet, you could have a 13 year old at 60 feet, and you can have a very experienced diver at, at 100 feet, no problem. And uh, it's fun for the whole family. Um, What's your favorite place to dive there? My favorite place to dive is a dive site called Mixing Bowl. Okay. Also known as Three Fathom Wall. How deep is a fathom? I forget. Six man. feet. Sure. So three fathoms is 18 feet. Oh, now we're doing math. Oh, yeah. I didn't do that so new math. 18, 18 feet at the top of the wall, right? Right, so three like six fathoms. meters. Yeah, no. <laughs> Close. Oh, okay. Close to six meters. <laughs> <laughs> this interview is going down. Okay. All right. <laughs> but yeah, three fathom wall, mixing ball, my favorite dive zone. Okay. And what do you see there? Uh, it's the. It's actually the the part in the marine park where we split from sheer walls, right? Which are, is the Bloody Bay section of the Bloody Bay Marine mm -hmm. Park. It then connects into the Jackson Bight section of the Bloody Bay Marine Park, which is characterized by a sort of shallow mini wall that drops off into a sandy boulevard and then onto the main wall and down. And this is where the two sections of the marine park meet and it's just a... Like, Does it have a couple different names for that one spot? Just, no, it, 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 its old name was Three Fathom Wall, but okay. it was renamed quite a long time ago as, as Mexican Wall. I see, okay. Yeah. And, and, okay, and then um, normally they stay there about a week too? Is it, uh, most, most customers will come in Saturday to Saturday or Saturday Wednesday to Saturday. Saturday. Over from um, yeah, Cayman, Grand Cayman sure. as well. Sure, it's a short flight, it's only 35 minutes from Grand Cayman. Okay. And uh, little twin auto will fly in a couple of times a day, about four or five times a day. And then when they're not diving, they're bird watching or? Um, sure. Uh, little Little Cayman is actually famous because uh, it's the largest uh, colony of red-footed boobies in the Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I love that name, red-footed. Yeah, red-footed red -footed boobies. Oh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so it's a breeding colony. It's actually a, a Ramsar site, which means it's a, a wetland of international uh, importance. Okay. And, um, yeah. There's, uh, most people bicycle their way around. There's more people in this aisle right now than what live on Little Cayman. The average population is about 180 without tourists, with tourists, so you can expand that out a couple hundred people. But uh, there literally is more people in this aisle than what live on the island. Mm. So it's very tranquil, very peaceful. It's not unusual to see people out uh, jogging or bicycling or walking around, looking at birds, like you said. Uh, most most of the resorts have paddle boards, kayaks, you know, this kind of thing. People will be out if they're not diving. It's also a fly fishing destination. A lot of people can fly fish, saltwater fly fish for the Grand Slam. So we have bonefish, tarpon, and permit, and all of those can be caught in uh, a catch and release, obviously, inside the, the lagoon in front of the resort. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then go to dinner for fish. Well, for the for dinner fish can be caught in the blue water. There are some blue water uh, uh, fishing opportunities for uh, blackfin tuna, yellowfin tuna, mahi mahi, and oh, nice. uh, wahoo. Uh -huh. Those are the most common table species. Um, but then there's also catch and release bullfish species uh, like marlin, blue marlin, and sailfish. So pretty pretty good fishing. You know your fish there. Yes. In fact, I mean, our, I mentioned the Southern Cross Club, and the Southern Cross Club was originally started in 1958 as a fishing club, as a fishing resort. And we only added diving in the 80s. So in case they wanted to get off the boat, they had something to do. <laughs> well, the Marine Park was actually established in 1986, okay. uh, which makes it the second oldest Marine Park in the Caribbean outside of the Cuban Jardin de la Reina. But uh, it is the healthiest Marine Park because it has been enforced since 1986. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Uh, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.